Hello, I'm Pascal, the director of the Help Mars project. Uh, we've had a very good summer again. Uh, this year the focus of my work was to uh, help uh, NASA uh, think about how to plan and implement uh, long-range and long-duration uh, pressurized rover traverses on the Moon and, and on Mars in the future. Uh, we've had several experiments in which uh, we logged very carefully uh, the timelines of such traverses, uh, how we would organize our EVAs within a, uh, the context of a pressurized rover traverse, uh, what types of tools we would use, how we would measure the productivity of our, of our excursions, and as well we've also investigated uh, the, uh, the amount of work that could be done directly from the inside of a pressurized rover and to work out exactly what are the criteria that require you to, to go out on a spacewalk on the Moon or Mars when you're driving around the, the countryside like that. Could you perhaps do a lot of the work from the inside of the rover, uh, including picking up rocks, if uh, all you need is to, to, uh, to use a robotic arm, for example, to, to grab a hold of a, of a rock. So all of these uh, ideas are being uh, tested in part here at Health Mars Project, and uh, we've had a number of other very good experiments going on this year as well and uh, uh, you can read about those and listen to, to these uh, other reports on our website. Thanks for joining again and see you next year. And I also want to say... <laughs> that was Fluffy that bumped me in the middle of the interview. That's Fluffy and Ping Pong playing together. <laughs> Fluffy is uh, not even one year old. We get him from uh, Rent-A-Dog in Resolute Bay. He's our polar bear guard dog. And Ping Pong is my uh, Australian cattle dog. She travels with me almost everywhere. She's five years old, and uh, she has a cute NASA collar. She thinks uh, Fluffy is not very mature and quite a quite a nuisance, but uh, they get along great. <laughs> She's like a big sister to him. Aww.